DAO. Let's tailor now our controller a little bit and let's add sprint and stuff like that. So let's go on to our controller and let's write a new logic for our speed. First of all, we need to know if we are running. So public bool is sprinting. If you're sprinting, then we will have sprinting speed and we can also have a crouching so let's say public bull is crouching and we can say crouching speed now we could do well first of all let's start with this and we'll see what we're going to do we need to distinct now which uh, state we're in so on fixed update inside handle movement we're going to check before we assign the speed we're going to say float actual speed and it will start with speed if is crouching actual speed will be crouch so it's crouching speed if is sprinting actual speed will be sprinting speed and that will be your actual speed. Now let's set this to. Uh, let's make methods for sprinting and crouching. So let's do public void sprint. Um, mm, public void set sprinting. First of all, if you are sprinting, if sprinting equals true, you are not crouching. So this crouching equals false okay we need to know how we well for now there is an easy way to do this we're basically going to to write on our inputs mm. this method will come into play more once we add the multi the mobile inputs but for now you could just say if input get key key code dot left shift set printing else is printing equals false let's try crouching if input dot get key down key code dot c is crouching equals true crouching will come into play a little bit later we need to also fix the uh, the camera needs to be going up and down and so on okay so on our controller we have our sprinting speed should be faster than our normal speed and the crouching speed should be slower let's try this one let's try this much first of all okay so okay that's the sprinting speed it's not really that much significant but it is different we could just say 0.2 instead of 0.5 over normal okay then crouching you can just see the flag on the left but not changing so Whenever you say key down, we're going to say if not, is crouching. So let's say we want to handle our crouching. So let's create public vector three, or just doesn't need to be public to be honest. Let's say vector three, normal pivot position then vector 3 crouching pivot position okay so on start this needs to be public because we need to have access to it to it to we're gonna so that we can override it basically find the correct position and for the normal pivot position then we need to say on our pivot transform local position just 
we're just storing that. Then inside handle recall, handle input, inside update, handle shooting, handle recall, okay. Let's do void handle pause or handle stance. Okay, let's pass the delta again. So vector three local or target position that will be your normal pivot position then if you are crouching is crouching target position will be the crouch crouching pivot position then basically on your pivot transform the local position we will do a vector 3 dot lerp Well, to be more accurate, we need to have a start. And so let's see, do um, vector three start. Should we do a start position or should we do? Since we're going to be going through between two positions, I'd say we could just say start position equals normal pivot position. Uh, start. Well, actually, you know what? Screw this. It's much more simpler than that. Pivot transform dot local position and target position and all that by delta by. This will be fairly fast, so I think point one should do it. Okay, and then that's pretty much it for the stance. We can just drop this in here inside update, and that should work fine. Okay, we of course need to find the crouching distance. So let's take a look on our pivot. Uh, that is about 1.45, let's say, let's set this to one. Okay, and there's our crouch. Maybe we can go a little bit lower, but I think that's fine. We can add prone, but I think the nature of the game does just doesn't really need it. So for speed, I'm going to set this to point, point 0.3, and this will be point 0.4, just so that we have some faster gameplay, because it's kind of like a snail pace to this, and it's not that fun. Yeah, that's better now. That's for much faster gameplay. Okay, let's maybe set sprinting speed to 1 to 15. So it's twice as much faster than your normal speed. Okay, one more thing is if you are interacting, you cannot actually set sprinting so actually if you are yeah if you are interacting you can sprint because you are running so if is interacting return okay now let's say you actually want to add sliding because why not so For that, we're going to do mm -hmm. yeah okay float slide amount because why not then inside fixed update inside handle movement inside all of that uh, desired move is going to be the same now. If slide amount is greater than zero, that means you want to be you want to slide. Uh, that means that means the direction is always going to be your transfer dot forward and slide amount minus delta. Yeah, so it's basically just going to be ignoring whatever you have over here. The direction will be that, but we need to find the actual speed then. So that means 
down here we need to know if we're sliding and we do by checking if slide amount is higher than that okay then instead of sprinting speed actually i'm just going to write i'm just going to use the sprinting speed for the actual speed okay so how do we know if we're sprinting if we press the key and you are sprinting let's do that this crouching will be false slide amount let's do half a second because why not so half a second is printing that trend is too true we cannot switch back to sprinting though while slide amount is true so if slide amount is greater than zero return so let's try this okay that's just some fancy thing we can do yeah that actually worked perfect we just need a slower crouch pivot position let's do 0.8 let's give it a little bit more slide amount we can actually control the slide amount as well over here public float mouse x mm. Sprinting speed let's say public float slide amount or slide amount slide timer and the slide amount okay let's just tailor this a little bit more that's perfect okay awesome and let's try this one more time and that's pretty much concludes the stances okay and you can see that which is fine now we could kill our velocity on the first frame it goes on let's see handle movement slide amount so if slide amount is less or equals to zero on the first frame then direction set this to vector three dot move dot zero don't do anything so just you can play you know an animation over there or whatever something for that yeah that actually didn't work i think yeah didn't work let's try controller well we are going to set this to zero as well and let's try controller dot velocity equals vector 3 dot zero and it's not going to allow us yeah it's only making this set this up okay okay we can fix this differently or oh, is there a stop oh, no velocity skin width move stop no i think it's the move to be honest it's grounded no 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 none of this Detect collisions, close this point, center bounce. Okay. So bull is slide uh, or freeze controller equal false. 
so if slide amount is less or equals to zero for that frame freeze controller equals true and if freeze controller of course if freeze controller we could set actual speed to zero okay i think it's not that off but we could just use slide maximum amount of 0.5 and i'm actually going to go and do a little bit of a better stance control to this so if slide amount is greater than zero then tap p dot y minus 0 0.1 f so just go one lower like you're sliding so we're going to simulate your head going a little bit downwards once you slide because why not we can do it so yeah that's perfect actually it's a very subtle notion but okay one thing to note though is we can actually sprint the left and right never mind that we are not inside the collisions but i don't like that we can sprint left to right so if we are sprinting in here so if is sprinting then force the direction to always be our transform dot forward so you cannot strafe left and right okay so now in mobile controls the sprinting will just be dragging it faster dragging it higher than outside of the joystick but for now you can just press swift and it will go like that and i can't go left and right anymore i can just press shift and move with a mouse but i cannot strafe or go back of course I have to leave that to go away. Okay, that's perfect. So we can sprint and we can slide. Okay, let's maybe do this by 0.85, something like that. So that's stance is concluded. We can now sprint, we can now crouch, we can even slide because we want to. So that's it for this part as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything of course consider supporting my patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time